Catherine with A Perfect Place to Start. So today I'm doing a collaboration video with Bored or Bananas called Flippin' Friday. I will link her channel down in the description box. She has a lot of fun DIYs and trash to treasures and I've even recreated a couple of them for myself. So make sure you check out her channel in the description box below and I'll list the playlist for today's collaboration. There should be a lot of fun videos um, for this Flippin' Friday collaboration. So for today's Flippin' Friday video, I am transforming a piece of furniture. It is a a rotating bookshelf that I picked up on Marketplace and I paid $35 for it. This is my first time using chalk paint to paint a piece of furniture so um, you'll have to let me know in the description box below if I nailed it or failed it and we'll jump right in. So here's the bookshelf. It is pretty dirty so I just take a rag and I wipe down the bookshelf and I get the corners and I get all the dust off and I get it ready for painting. I picked up my chalk paint at Home Depot and I thought it was going to be a white color and it turns out to be a light gray color which is fine. I was really happy with how it turned out but I guess my tip number one would be to make sure that you're getting the color of paint that you actually want. Um, I, it's a good thing I didn't absolutely need a white because I would have been disappointed. So I'm just going to put a coat of paint over the entire bookshelf and then I'm going to let it dry for the recommended hour to two hours and then I'm going to come back and give it a second coat of paint. I'm not ready Not just So once I get both coats of paint onto the bookshelf, I am ready to do some distressing. And I am going to use a technique called wet distressing. So I have a washcloth here that is damp and I'm just going to rub the washcloth on the um, pieces of wood and I'm going to pull off the paint um, as much as or as little as I want to. As I start to do this though I realized that I probably let my paint dry slightly too long and so it took a lot of elbow grease to get off the paint that I was able to get off. I was happy with with how it came out and it did give me the desired look I was looking for. Just I guess tip number two would be next time to not let it dry quite so long when before I get ready to distress it. So I'm going to do the shelf inserts and then I'm going to do the top of the bookshelf and then I'm going to go ahead and do the sides and the bottom of the bookshelf as well. Autumn comes to So distressing works best when you have texture, so things with grooves and things like that, it will pull off the paint a lot easier. So I was really happy with how the sides and the bottom of the bookshelf end up turning out. So here's the stencil I'm going to use today. It's a buffalo check stencil and it's a really large stencil, probably the biggest stencil I have ever used. So I decided to start on the shelves because that's a little less scary and I just put the stencil at an angle and I go ahead and start going over it with my ink by Waverly chalk paint. And I'm just going to go ahead and do each of the shelves this way. This was a really time consuming um, project to do the stencil. So it just, um, you need to be patient if you're using a large stencil or any stencil for that matter. I'm just using my Dollar Tree stencil brush um, that's in the Crafter Square. So any stencil brush that you have would work. So here's our first look at what the pattern is going to look like. I was super happy with how it looked when I took the stencil off and just really excited to finish the project and see what the final look was going to be. 
So once I have those four shelves finished, I move to the top of the bookshelf and I'm just using that stencil on the top of the bookshelf as well. I did not put it on top and lay it over the entire top circle. The stencil is a square, so I tried to kind of line up as a rounded part. I might have caused myself more work that way, but I was really happy with how it turned out. So when I move this stencil, I just go ahead and make sure I've overlapped some of the other projects so that they match up and I make sure that I have one um, continuous pattern through the whole top of the shelf. ready to apply the protective top coat and I got this at Walmart. Home Depot was out of any kind of wax or um, protective top coat for chalk paint so this was the only one I could really find. I don't wind up being very happy with the end result with it. Um, I did follow the directions exactly using even the, the right brush it asked me for and as I'm applying it to my piece I noticed a little bit too late that some of the black paint is running from um, adding the coat so if you have any idea why that happened um, I would love to know in the comments below I end up having to um, kind of go over it there as you see there's some black tint to the coat that I didn't notice and so I end up having to do some touch-up work a little bit later but anyway you're going as I'm applying the protective coat I just apply it throughout the entire piece of furniture and then um, to the bottom and sides as well as you can see I did go ahead and do the pattern in the very bottom of the bookshelf um, that way you kind of get this floating look um, when the shelves get put back in there and it just added a real like final look to it and it just kind of elevated this bookshelf I thought um, once I got all the shelves in. So here's our final project. I just was absolutely in love with how it turned out. Um, and then as my husband spins it around here it has this really cool geometric pattern that reminds me kind of of Alice in Wonderland. I don't know why but that is my favorite fairy tales. So Anyway, here is the um, bookshelf in my dining room. I'm using it for some cookbooks and I just love how it gives it kind of a farmhouse feel in there. I just am really happy with how it turned out. Thanks for joining me today on this Flippin' Friday video. It was so fun to redo this bookshelf and I just absolutely love how it looks in my dining room and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think if I nailed it or failed it for that chalk paint and don't forget to check out Border Bananas YouTube channel. I have that linked in the description box below as well as the playlist so check out everyone's fun and fabulous Flippin' Friday videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and do that now and don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. Thanks for joining me today and remember wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. Till next time.